ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm comparing two Drevo keyboards. So this one right here, the Drevo Durandal, as it's called, and I'll be comparing it to another one which is very similar in price from Drevo. It's this one right here. This is called the Turfing. Tyfing. It's a little bit hard to pronounce. There's a lot of things that are hard to pronounce in this video, so bear with me. But yeah, I'll call it the uh, Tyfing. Tyfing? Tyfing. Tyrefing. I think that's how you. T Y R. Tyrefing. This is the Tyrefing V2. So let's jump into it then with what they have in common. We'll talk about the design as well. So these are both mechanical keyboards. Uh, they're both RGB and they're both relatively cheap to the point that I think for what you're getting with either of these keyboards, uh, you're getting a really good deal. But let's talk about some of the differences in the design then. So straight away, you can see that the Durandal is a much bigger keyboard. Uh, it's, it's just larger, it has a fixed wrist, wrist rest that cannot be removed. It's actually built into it. So make sure you like them. If you're completely not a fan of wrist rest, then you will not be able to remove it. Uh, it is a lot larger. The Typhoon is smaller. It looks more standard, I would say. They both come with the alloy top plate, which is nice, but the Turfing has a more um, brushed alloy look to it, whereas the Durandal has uh, just a more sort of standard look, I guess you might say. When you look around to the back, you'll see they both have the same single stage stands. But interestingly, the angle was slightly different because of the size difference between them, yet the stands are the same. The Durandal has a, a better angle to it. It's not as sort of steep as aggressive. Uh, the Turfing has sort of like, it's just more angled because it's a bit shorter. I tried to show it in the video as best as I could, but it's something that you do notice when you type on them, which we'll talk about soon when we talk about the keys. Uh, but yeah, that is something you do notice between them. They both come with the cable routing, which is nice. A lot of people like that. But interestingly, the Durandal comes with just a, a normal cable and the Tyrefing comes with, Tyrefing comes with a uh, braided cable. So interesting there, a little bit different. It's, it's almost as if, the Durandal is supposed to look uh, or sort of be a little bit more basic, but price-wise, as we'll talk later, there's nothing in it between these two. So it's an interesting move there, although the Durandal does come with more and it is bigger. Uh, so that will be a good thing for some people out there looking who like the sort of bigger keyboards, that is. Now, as far as what I personally think about the designs of both of them, like which one I like better, uh, I'd probably go for the Typhoon V2 here. This is the one I think looks better out of the two. But you guys know me, I'm quite simplistic when it comes to my keyboard designs. It's why I've always liked Ducky, it's why I've liked many other ones. The original Razer Black Widows were all quite minimalistic as well. And this is sort of in the same vein. Uh, that's not to say I think the Durandal is an ugly keyboard by any means, but it is quite chunky. Um, but I know there's plenty of you guys out there that like a keyboard that comes with more because you want to get, I guess, like the most for your money. And that's definitely going to be the case with this guy. So that's just a taste thing. But of course, everyone's going to be different. So let's talk about the keys and the key switches because that is very important. So these guys are coming with the Otumu switches, which are coming in four main flavors. Blue, brown, black, red. These are basically cherry clones um, copy of cherry switches to me personally they feel slightly heavier than cherries um, just a little bit but they also feel better than kales I've always had an issue with kale switches they just never felt that good going between them and cherry switches like I could always tell the difference even if I was blindfolded I could instantly tell the difference between them but these ones would be, uh, that, that would be more difficult. They've done a very good job. I would still say Cherry MX switches are the best, um, but these ones shouldn't be disregarded because of those switches. 
they are still very good. And if you're, you've never used a mechanical keyboard before, and these are entry level ones, then they're gonna be a huge upgrade if you're coming from a mechanical switch or something like that. I'd say even they'd be an upgrade coming from kale switches, to be perfectly honest. But keep in mind, they uh, do, to me anyway, feel a little bit heavier than their Cherry MX equivalents. So with that being said, uh, what are they like to type on? So I actually like the Durandal a bit better than the uh, Typhoon, just because of the angle really. I did like the wrist rest as well. Those are always hit or miss for me, but in this case, I did like it, so that was good. It felt good to use. Both of them use double shot ABS keycaps, although the font on the Durandal looks a lot better. I definitely liked that. The Turfing just looks really gamer it's kind of interesting to me they went for this more simplistic look but then they went for the font and everything looks super gamery uh which i'm not a huge fan of maybe you are but i'm definitely not the <laughs> durandal comes with a dedicated internet explorer button which is not something i thought i would see in 2018 but it's there and overall i would say i did like the durandal uh more so it came with the uh cherry uh, not cherry i should say it came with the red switch uh, the Turfing came with the blue switch. So I got them with two different switches um, just to see what they were like, you know, try out the switch a bit more. And yeah, I would definitely go with the Durandal, even though it came with my uh, least favorite, like out of those four, the, probably the red would be my least favorite and my blue and the blue would be my favorite. So interestingly, I liked that more and I just felt like it was the better one uh, to use. I, I just think the font looks better, it was nicer to type on, was good for gaming on, uh, I didn't have any issues with it at all. It's not to say the turfing was, uh, typing was bad or anything like that, it's just for me personally, I preferred the Durandal, and um, yeah, that, that's basically all there is to it. I'll give you guys an idea of what they sound like, please remember these are running the different switches, the Durandal's got the red. So keep that in mind. You're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit different there, but it should still give you an idea. So there you guys go. Yeah, it's hard to kind of compare them because it is two different switches, but if you were looking at one of these with that specific switch, it should give you an idea. I would definitely say if you're planning on using them in an office, uh, yeah, I maybe wouldn't pick the blue switch. It would be a bit loud. Even maybe the brown switch might be a bit louder. Uh, if I was picking one to use in an office or if I had, you know, I was in a situation where I couldn't have a loud switch, uh, then I would definitely pick the red switch. It, it will be a lot quieter, huh? that's for sure. So with all that being said, let's talk about the lighting then. And there is actually a bit of a difference here too. So both of them come with full RGB lighting, but I have to say the Typhoon V2 looks better. I can't really put my finger on what it is that makes it look better. Just the colors pop more for some reason. And it, it just overall looked a lot better to me anyway. But that's not to say the Durandal looked bad in terms of the RGB lighting. It still looked just fine. What was interesting though is they used two different software. So usually the keyboard, you know, the peripheral company will make sort of one software and you can connect their devices up to it and just use their software. In this case, it's actually two different softwares. And the one you get with the uh, Durandal, the power console, is inferior to the one that you get with the Tarifink. Uh, it's just not as good. It's kind of harder to use. It doesn't scale well with high resolution displays. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of it. The the other one that you can use with the Typhoon V2 uh, was just much better. So it really does win in the lighting department. Not only does the lighting look better, but it comes with a better software to use with it. So I think it's a big win here. You can also customize all the macros and everything on both of them without too much hassle. So that's good. And uh, they, they both still look good. But yeah, Terrifying V2 definitely wins in the lighting department. Which brings us now to the conclusion. And this is a giveaway video. So... I told you guys previously that I will not be announcing giveaway videos because I thought 
I'm only going to reward the fans that watch all my videos. So this is a giveaway video. And we're not giving away just this guy, but also, ah, come here, <laughs> the Durin doll as well. Both of them are going to be given away. Brand new ones, not these ones that I've been using. Brand new ones from Drevo. Uh, so there'll be two winners. You can pick whichever of those four switches you like. You want a red, sure, you want a black, you know, whatever. Uh, and so there will be two winners. I'll leave a link down in the description down below. Uh, you go over to that and you can enter in and it's going to be up for a month. Then there'll be a winner will be drawn. Uh, Drivo will get in contact with you and they'll send out one of the keyboards. So yeah, you have your choice basically of which one you like and which switch you like. So that's really cool. Uh, this is something I want to do more because I really like sort of giving back to you guys. And this is just a way I thought I could do it toward the fans that watch all of my videos. Anyway, with that being said, what do I make of these two keyboards? So price-wise at the official store, they're almost the same price. It's like a $5 difference. So there's really not much in it. And it's kind of really hard for me to say which one's better because they're both sort of better than each other but in different areas. So it really depends on what you prefer. If you're someone that wants a really good looking keyboard, you know, really nice RGB and like to do a lot of customization of that lighting in software, then I would probably trend more towards the Typhoon V2. It's also uh, quite a bit smaller and it's more simplistic looking, uh, although the font on the keycaps does make it look a little bit gamery. So if that's what you're looking for, I would probably trend towards this one. And also if you don't, like keyboards with a fixed wrist rest, then I would also trend towards this guy. However, to me personally, the Durandal uh, was very good also, and it was the better one to actually use. Uh, I liked the keycaps better, you know, the font looked better, I liked the wrist rest, I liked the angle of it more, and it just felt like the better one for me to use. But then again, I'm not a huge fan of like RGB lighting and all of that stuff, so that was less of a factor for me. So that's just something you're gonna have to keep in mind. But yeah, if I had to pick personally which one I would choose out of the two, I would pick the Durandal for that reason. But as I said, it's really gonna depend on which sort of what you think is better, like what you want more. But either way, if you pick either of these keyboards, you're going to get a really, really good entry-level keyboard. Like, they're very good value for money. So either way, you're getting a great keyboard. But, yeah, I would personally pick the Durandal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as I said, this is a giveaway video, so there is a link down in the description down below. Definitely head over, be in to win one of these keyboards. Uh, you, as I said, you can pick whichever one you want, pick which switch you want, and there's gonna be two winners drawn in one month's time. So definitely in enter in for that. If you haven't subscribed to Tech Showdown already, I suggest you do because I have other giveaways planned in the future as well, hidden in other videos. So make sure you watch all my videos because just like this one, there might be a giveaway in it. And I uh, thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you all next time.